Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Are you a photography nerd like I am? Well, if you are, you probably subscribe to at least one or two photography magazines. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite photography magazines. Before we begin, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and remember to click on that little bell so you get updates. Also, follow me on Instagram. I am at Anthony Morganti on Instagram, and in the description below this video, I'll have a link to my Instagram so you could easily find it. One thing you'll notice is that I don't subscribe to any magazines that have to do with photography education, anything to do with technique, like how to do landscapes in the rain or how to do flash photography or anything like that. Nowadays, all that info is on the internet and you can find as many articles or videos as you'd like to on any subject. But I do subscribe to a number of different magazines and I do read them pretty much cover to cover. My favorite magazine is Photo District News. It's called PDN for short. Uh, it used to be a monthly magazine, but they've just uh, recently cut it down to six times a year. And each issue is themed. Uh, the current issue, for example, is themed to getting your book published. So it's how to approach uh, publishers, how to write a query letter, how to format your book, how to order your images, and stuff like that. There's also gear reviews and other things in the magazine as well. It's really, really a good magazine, and it's, as I mentioned, it's my favorite. Now, they do have an app as well. Uh, the app stinks. Uh, it is very rudimentary. You could do some rudimentary bookmarking in it, but you really can't highlight anything or anything like that. And it allows you to download issues for uh, reading when you're not online, but sometimes that feature doesn't always work. So it's a great magazine. The app, not so great. Now, the same company that puts out Photo District News has some sister publications as well. One is called PDN EDU. It is meant for students, and it's my understanding that universities and professors that teach photography could get this magazine for free, printed copies, and give them to their students for free. Also, there's an app, though, and you could get the app and read it for free. Uh, it's PDN. EDU is the app, and it's the exact same type of app that the PDN app is, so it's not a great app. PDN EDU is published just twice a year. Now, there's another publication they have, which is called Emerging Photographer. That is an online-only magazine. That one, too, is free. Uh, it's published twice a year, but you have to read it online. There is no application for it. They have a, a kind of web app for you to read that magazine. Now they have another magazine that they put out called Rangefinder, same company as PDN. Uh, this magazine is free and it's published monthly. Uh, it is an industry magazine and what that means is when you go to their website you're going to have to fill out a form saying what you do in the photography industry that makes you qualify to get this magazine for free. So just write you're a photographer and you do weddings or something like that. This magazine is geared for the wedding and portrait photographer. It's very similar to Photo District News, except the articles, again, all have to do with wedding and portrait photography. Not so much technique, but more like how to book clients, um, how to deal with unruly customers, some legalities involved with running your own business and such. It's an excellent magazine, and again, it's free and it's monthly. That um, also, there's an app for this. It's the same type of app that PDN and PDN EDU have, so it's very rudimentary. All you could do really is bookmark. You could download issues sometimes for offline reading, but you can't highlight anything or anything like that. So those are all from the same company. Another magazine I really enjoy is Black and White Magazine. Now this is more kind of the artistic side of Black and White. There's really no uh, educational instructional articles in here either. What they do is in each issue they'll feature a number of different photographers and they'll outline their work, show samples of their work, interview with them, interviews with them, talk about what they were doing, projects they're working on, and such. Um, excellent magazine. The reproduction of the images inside the magazine is excellent. Uh, this is published six times a year. They also have um, at least two photo contests a year and they have at least two issues of those six that 
show all the winners of the contest. So you have all the images from uh, whatever contest they were running that year. Excellent magazine though. Now I belong to the Professional Photographers Association, PPA, and this is their monthly magazine that you get with your membership. Um, it is chock full of ads, lots of ads, but there is a lot of great information as well. Now it's geared for the professional photographer, and if you're a professional or if you want to be a professional, I strongly suggest that you join the Professional Photographers of America. The magazine, again, has a lot of articles having to do with legalities involved with professionals, uh, how to write contracts, but there's also, you know, different things about, uh, they'll feature, let's say, a wedding photographer and how they are a little different than other wedding photographers and what they do that's different. Um, and not just wedding, though, any type. They have like a newborn photographer in one issue, I remember. And so it's an excellent magazine, and again, it comes with your membership to the Professional Photographers Association. <clears throat> now, I'm also a member of the National Press Photographers Association, and this is their magazine that you get with your membership. This is bi-monthly, so this comes out um, every two months. And there's barely any ads in this one compared to the Professional Photographers Association, which has a lot of ads. And this, um, it, all articles having to do with anyone that's photographing for news. They're starting to move a little bit into video as well. So there's some articles having to do with doing videography uh, concerning news and news-related subjects. Um, it's a really uh, great magazine. I really do like this magazine as well. Now this magazine's a little bit of an odd magazine. Uh, it's called Zeke. It's uh, put out by the Social Documentary Network.com, I believe it is. I'll have, by the way, in the description of this video, I'll have links for all these magazines. Um, this magazine only comes out twice a year, and it's all about documentary photography. And um, there's barely any ads in it at all. And they feature a number of photographers and their projects and what they're working on. And the reproduction is great. Um, so this is a really magazine that I enjoy a lot as well because I really do like documentary photography. And finally, I subscribe to the Granddaddy uh, magazine for photographers called Aperture. Aperture only comes out four times a year. As you can see, it's a, a really hearty, big magazine. It has a fair amount of ads. Most of the ads are museum. People have um, famous photographers that have, uh, you know, showings in museums and ads for things like that. Um, this magazine is real the art side of photography, so don't expect to find any technique in here at all. Uh, this is uh, kind of stereotypical. You know, someone will photograph uh, dog feces on the sidewalk and call it art photography. That could be in this magazine. Uh, this magazine may have some nudity in it, not a lot, but every now and then it will, if that matters to you. Black and white magazine also will at times have some nudity in it as well, so if that makes a difference. Now, um, there is an app, uh, but it's the Zinio Magazine app. This is in there. And uh, it's a good app. It allows you to bookmark and, as I recall, highlight. You can download the issues for offline reading. So um, I like that app. Uh, Zeke Magazine doesn't have an app, as far as I know. News Photographer Magazine, as far as I know, doesn't have an app, and it's not online. Uh, the Professional Photographers Association Magazine uh, doesn't have an app, but all their, when you join, all back issues are online as PDFs. So you could download those and read them. And Black and White Magazine does not have an app at all. It's only the printed magazine. So those are the magazines that I read. And as I mentioned, I read these cover to cover, much to my wife's chagrin, because I really take my time and enjoy them. They're really great magazines. And I hope this uh, points you in something. If you're looking, if you're a professional and you're wondering what kind of magazine you want to get, PPA, get that, Professional Photographers Association. If you're into documentary photography, go to the social documentary network.org or .com. Again, I'll have that listed below. And look at their magazine, Zeke. Um, it's an excellent magazine, an excellent organization. I think something you could check into. But there's something for everyone here. And that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.